Hey everybody, I'm Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com and today we're looking at the Morgan Mill battery tray for the Carbon Z Cub. We'll talk about how to install it, how it works, and why it's something you should probably get your hands on. So the stock battery mount is pre-installed in the Carbon Z Cub and it's held in with a series of screws. I believe there's six. They're Allen head screws, so you're going to want to find uh, whatever you have that will allow you to take them out. I used my MIP Allen head driver and removed the plate. Very simple. The front two are a little tricky to get out and get in, but I was able to do it without much trouble. So then when you uh, pull out your stock plate, it's simply a piece of plastic. I would go ahead and remove the Velcro because you can use that on your Morgan Mill battery tray or cartridge as they call it that will go back in. So then you take your Morgan Mill tray, put it in and all the holes line up where the plastic tray holes were. Simply replace the screws and you're in business. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. I started from the back because they were the trickiest ones to get in and move my way forward and got it all set up. So here it is in the plane, and you will see some numbers. You can't see it yet, but right in the middle are slots. These numbers are going to tell you uh, where you can move your battery cartridge for the best CG location. I have multiple packs I run in this plane from 5,000 to 3,600. So the numbers come in handy to let me know where certain packs would go in this unit. Here's the cartridge itself. Here's my Velcro I took from the Carbon Z Cub and that holds your battery in securely. It has slots, so it stays on really well. And then the hooks, the hooks are the key. The hooks go in the side cutouts, and then there's a locking mechanism. You just pop it in, and then you lock it down. And then once again, here are your numbers to tell you which CG point you want to pick. So now let's look at putting the battery in the tray. Once again, you want to Get your hooks into the little side cutouts and lock them in, push it back. And then your front mechanism, it's going to slide down. It'll be slightly tight. That's good. You want your battery in there tight. And then I'll pick it up to show you how in it is. I mean, it's locked down. So you tuck up your wires, plug yours in before you fly, of course, and you're ready to go. So now let's look at the, uh, I think this is even the, better than the install is the pulling your battery out. All you have to do is pull up your mechanism, slide your hooks forward, and then your battery tray releases. And that is the beauty of the Morgan Mill battery tray. I want to thank Gary for sending me the unit. You can check them out at morganmill.com. I'll put a link in the description. I'm Jim T. Graham with the RC Groups.